hello and uh, welcome to another video i'm out again and uh, i'm not giving a lot away but over my shoulder there you can see some bluebells but i'm in a special woodland that i cannot i cannot give you my location um and i know people don't like that and some people do like it but i can't give away my location i've got special permission to be here um i'm with i'm with this guy here i'll find out where he wants me to give you his name in a minute because it will give away part of uh where we are and i'm also with mrs c uh mrs c's out and she's already got the camera we're 50 foot into the woodland and i've been told the ultimate the best and everything is yet to come this is just scratching the surface so i'm really excited to see what we've got on offer but the biggest temptation for me is i put out a year ago that i wanted to photograph wild garlic and there is abundance of wild garlic and this chap here in the corner there this chap here he's uh he's he's the cause for me being here because he's been watching it um he lives very local to the site and he's been keeping an eye on it and he actually sort of works on site as well so he ha you know he's, he's got keys and everything to get into the place which is fine um so we're following his guidance and uh yeah we've got wild garlic we are bang on target for a blooming which of course he's been watching for us but not only that it's mild garlic mixed with bluebells so i've got you can see through the trees there this is just me scratching the surface for you and getting you tempted we've got all this wild garlic here and as you see through the back of the trees and on this side here we've got bluebells so what we're looking at is a mix between bluebells and wild garlic so i'm very very excited to see what we can get and like i say denise has got a camera out already and she's shooting say hello wife hello wife <laughs> she's here look i've managed to bring her out i got told off the other week when i did the bluebells that i didn't take her out and i went and played with bluebells without her so i got told off didn't i yeah so <laughs> but in fairness i was taking mum out you was I? yeah you were out with your mum so yeah, yep exactly. she's here she's here with the bluebells and let's like say we're gonna spend the afternoon here and we're gonna try and find some pretty cool shots well she will won't she i'll just copy <laughs> her like normal so we'll speak to her in a little while once i've got my camera out and uh, i've absorbed some of this because it is just fantastic so as you can see i've taken my hat off um i was getting a bit warm i've got me me heavy raincoat on and uh it's not heavy rain it's it's dead warm in it because there's no wind blowing through the trees it's really quite um humid and warm which is probably why we're in an abundance of this and just have a look at what's behind me look at all this masses and masses of wild garlic and behind the other direction if i go round, look at all of that all of this blue and the white transforming the images and working in harmony together so i'm concentrating on this at the moment because i've just noticed this we walked across to get to the patch of sort of garlic which is over there but i like this i like this flow it like it's almost like a river it's a white river leading round between the blue and i've done a couple of compositions a sort of wide one and i've also gone in for a slightly tighter one so you can see there it's coming in from this bottom left hand corner and just flows around the image and then the tree acts as a bit of a stopper over on the right hand side and then i've gone for a wider one and i've got a tree stump which is somewhere around here uh, which i think is acting as a little key in the bottom left hand corner and then bringing you right around and your eye just goes off and off and off into the bluebells so i think that is going to be a really really cracking little shot now i've already taken one i'm at f9 uh, i may try a couple of different um apertures i'm going to go for say an f13 i'm going to focus on the foreground or just in front of the foreground should i say let's just i've just hit a timer for some reason i don't know why i put it on a timer by mistake then yeah i'm going to focus about three or four foot in front of the camera or a couple of meters anyway at least um which i know is seven or eight foot um and then the rest of it should be in focus so i'm going to go for an f13 focus on that take the slightly wider shot and at a wider end you know at the wider end of the market anyway it's all going to lead into focus then i'm going to take something a little bit narrower i'm going to go down to maybe 6.4 and do the same again and just see when i process them if they get that much of a, a drop off in the background which i think would be quite nice if it does and i may even try one at f4 this is a 2.8 lens so f4 should be pretty good on this lens um, but i do i just like the way that it's like the river of garlic just flows through the wood and uh, it looks really really nice so i'm really pleased with that it's quite a nice little shot but stunning denise is over there i'm going to show you where denise is she is doing a stealth um stealth shooting she is hiding in the woods over there you can see her look right down there in the woods she's hiding um so she's doing some lower shots because the lower you come down i'm going to show you this the lower you come down the thicker the bluebells look and the higher you come up the more green appears in the shot so if you want to get a really thick carpet come down lower and then it's all bluebells after bluebells. And if you want something that's a bit more open and looking a bit more woodland, you come up higher and it just gives you that full spread 
of um, the greens in between because you're getting to see the leaves that's the difference you can see in that shot there so you've got bluebells coming across here quite thick and if I move it up the same set of bluebells just there are now looking a lot greener so there's two different ways of looking at the bluebells so uh, yeah bear, in my, bear that in mind when you've got your camera on a tripod and I'm very excited to be here because it is stunning and the smell well if you like garlic <laughs> there ain't no vampires around here <laughs> So already I've got another shot set up um, and I'm doing this watching what other people are shooting thing. Um, I've just had a look at a shot that, uh, I'm going to tell you his name, Alan. <laughs> I'm going to just do a shot that Alan had set up and we noticed, I noticed these trees before, I had a look through them and I quite liked them but I weren't sure whether it was working quite right but I just had a look on the back of his camera, it looks alright but I've gone to a slightly different um, composition on the same sort of shot. I've gone, I've taken the camera a little bit higher and uh, I'm shooting through the trees and I've got a branch at the top and if I can show you here so I'm shooting through these two trees these two here and I've got the bluebells and the wild garlic but I've kept this branch in at the top so the top of that branch there is actually framing the tree or framing the sort of hole in the middle and on a horizontal on a vertical shot like that you can see it works with the framing and uh, yeah I think it'll work quite nicely so that's my composition, that's my shot at f8 and uh, I've got the polarised one as well because uh, the polarizer is just popping out some of those greens and the, the colours a little bit because it's been raining, it's been wet and so all the reflections are sort of are being eliminated by uh, the polarisation but yeah, quite nice and I do like the little canopy of leaves over the top as well I reckon it'll look pretty good when it's uh, processed so we're going to head off up uh, I've just spotted some trees that I quite like um, they look like a birch or something, they look like a little hardwood because they're all nice and shiny. So um, we're going to head that direction. got a feeling they're ganging up on me the two of them are going up here come on Denise come on Denise you go this way you go this way and I've got to go the other direction so I'm definitely following them I'm going to try and keep up with them otherwise they're going to find something really nice and I'm not <laughs> secrets you see secrets but look at this in front we're on a little pathway now this is just blue after blue after blue how fantastic is this with these big clumps of wood in it and things all the fell tree you know the trees that have come down and amazing so i've um i've just been educated again um, i'm now standing in the middle of an ancient hazel coppice um, all these trees that you can see behind me all these little diagonally shaped trees that are coming out of these little clumps in the middle they're all hazel this is what they use for all the furniture or what they use in the furniture in the in um, the area where we are anyway that's for sure and uh, this is ancient stuff this is not something that just grows overnight this has been here for a long 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 time and uh, it's just amazing to see and i've just been taking some pictures sort of sort of zoomed in a little bit and i'm trying to take pictures sort of leading through i took one from over that side i sort of followed some badger tracks trying to keep my feet off it even though i keep getting told not to worry um but shooting through all these sort of diagonals and that i just i'm not sure if it works but just look at all this it's just absolutely amazing i remember saying this the other week when i was shooting bluebells the other week but 
the other two are down there. So Denise is hiding around the corner there. She's she's hiding down there. And she's with Alan as well, and they're shooting that direction, um, which is there's a nice path that leads up that way. So I better go and head back over that way and uh, join the group. But yeah, this is pretty amazing, even though it feels dead weird walking through it. But the blue is something else. I'm still looking for that that one amazing shot though. That one sort of Oop, that one picture that you know that everyone dreams to get and eventually if i don't get it this year we'll have another go again next year right let's see if i can make me well out of here and join these two and uh, we'll speak to you in a bit I'll go this way then. So the pair of them are still shooting. I'm, I'm struggling to find that, that one shot I'm looking for. It's, it's quite a, with all the hazel, it's quite a busy woodland. There's lots of bits sticking out. I've just shot the, the hazel behind because it looks like a little, it starts in the bottom and it spreads out and it sort of comes out quite wide. Um, but Paul and Denise are behind now. They're, they're shooting little buds and things on the little white flowers against the blue flowers and things like that and doing close-ups and vignetted images and things so uh, I've just been shooting just had a go at that hazel there that one over there um, just basically trying to find a different image to be honest there's a lot of little white flowers at the moment down and around here so I've taken a couple of images with little white flowers in them as well see if that works so I'll pop up a couple of couple of random shots that I've taken but I'm, I'm still looking for that one that one that's gonna make me yes I've got it if you know what I mean <laughs> you know what I mean but we haven't finished yet we're still in we're gonna walk right around no hang up I'll get cheeky over here I've got it she says I've got it she's got the shot if she has I'll show you now <laughs> let's put her on the spot on it <laughs> Not going to lie to you, I'm struggling to find that one. Uh, we've made our way all the way through this uh, undergrowth behind me, and Denise is buried back there somewhere with uh, Alan. Um, and I'm coming back towards the wild garlic, and I've got some behind down here now. As you can see, I've got a nice patch down here, and there's a little patch there. And as you look, I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but if you look right back there in the distance, um there's a load of wild garlic coming appearing back over in the distance so i'm going to make my way through following the badger tracks as i go i'm going to follow my way up through the badger tracks and try and get some more um wild garlic shots because i think that's what's i think that's what's interesting me more and i'm listening to the bees and the birds and things like that out and it's just fantastic in these woodlands especially these old woodlands like this this is 
is, but there's so much hazel and hazel is all this all this lot here so you've got a lot of this these long very hard twiggy sort of things they make furniture out of it um let me spin you around i'll just show you the one behind me and this is the reason why you see this one here you can see he's got these straight pieces that come off the top they've just got loads of straight bits and in between that one there there's straight bits that are sticking up so there's loads of these big hazel things around and it just makes it really difficult see all this lot really difficult to sort of separate anything and try and get a pathway or a lead now i've taken several images i mean there's a nice clump of open space there or it looks like it because this is a wide angle lens but it's just so so difficult to to get that really amazing shot and i know there's something here i mean it's all amazing don't get me wrong this is all on the eye it's so pleasing to the eye it really is but i'm just struggling to find i'm not sure about this this one clump i've just taken a handheld shot of this one clump and the blue behind it but i think i am i'm going to follow these um follow these tracks through and uh, see where the badges have been I think I've got it. I think I've got something that I'm more pleased with and quite unique to this woodland and this forest. Um, I've just got to shoot it at a couple of different f-stops because I want to make sure I've got um, from 5.6 right up to f f14 maybe. I just want to, the difference between um, the depth of field. And the reason being is it's a it's a cracking beautiful little shot i'm even going to try an f4 version um, just to see if i get the drop off i've got an arch i'm even going to do a selfie on it i'm going to i'm going to put it back up to 5.6 i'm going to go on to a 10 second timer i'm going to get myself a selfie in it as well now so i'm going to put the camera on and i'm going to take you with me and get me selfie just standing here looking into this because it's absolutely amazing so one hand on the branch one hand talking to you and I think it bleeped. <laughs> but behind you now, and I'm going to come up here because it's getting better as I come up here. Look at this behind you. Are you ready for this? Look at the layers and layers in this image. You've got white, blue, white, blue, white, blue. It's just all the way through. And you've got this lovely little opening that just seems to just take you through the image there i mean i was a bit further back you can see my camera's there um so i was a bit further back this way and if i come behind my camera you can see that on the back of the camera i've got this lovely little archway coming from the uh the hazel uh this lovely little archway and it leads you through this canopy of different colors so my archway is there you can see the archway there and you've got these lovely little colors all the way through so I think, I think I've got one. I really, really like this. I think it's beautiful. The polarizer on it is fantastic. I've never seen those layers of colors before. And the, 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 the garlic around now, look at this, all this wild garlic behind me. Look at all of it, it's beautiful. Even the arch underneath there. And see, I've been just following this badger track I know he said don't worry about it, but it was a badger track that goes all the way up and every so often I come across badger droppings and you can see where they've scratted all the ground away because they're very clean animals and they scrap all the ground away and they do their they do their business in the hole. And we've got this nice arch. That arch for that fallen tree. I don't even know where Denise and Alan are, they're down, they're down in that woodland somewhere there. They're shooting close up, I think, but yeah, I think this area here, I'm gonna spend half an hour or so here just wandering around this follow that badger track up a little bit and just i don't want to disturb anything because i just like it as it is and just see if i can find a couple more really really nice shots if i do i'm just going to put them up following this little arch one and uh 
yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite quietly pleased with that. Well, that's enough to knock the wind out of you. I've just fallen over. I've just got my foot, what looks like, stuck down a rabbit hole and I've got mud and grass now, stuck down the side of my camera. So I'm gonna have to give that a clean when I get home, when it all dries off. I've got mud and everything all over it. But that's because I landed, I nearly face planted the floor. So it just goes to show, no matter how careful you're being, <laughs> Be extra exceptionally careful because I did. I just went down with a right thump. Got dirty knees now, wet knees on wet trousers, and a, a muddy camera. But still, you've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? <laughs> All right, so I've caught up with these two. I didn't know where they were. I like that. That's really nice. She's got a really good shot. Very, very nice photo. I might copy it. No, I won't copy it. <laughs> I've, um, pulled out the big guns I've got my 50 140 on um, because I keep seeing images that I think I like from a distance and then when I get near them they don't look anything like it so I thought I'd try the longer lens see if it makes any difference <laughs> and uh, that tiny little clump of wild garlic from over there yeah looks brilliant stood out like a beacon and then when you got near it it doesn't look quite the same yeah yeah that's quite a nice she's done a quite a nice little shot there so I'll put it up on the screen for you have a look at that one and uh, I'm going to see if I can get a couple shots on this and then I'll probably end the video and just carry on walking around taking pictures but yeah this is stunning what a what a place and it's so nice to just be able to wander around and have a look as well nobody around peace and quiet even though I did just fall on my face I think I got my last shot. I think this is it. Um, maybe. They're both laughing at me. Last shot. My ass. Um, yeah, I'm bound to take another one or two, but I, I'm struggling, like I said earlier on, I'm struggling to sort of segregate something. I'm struggling to try and find something like of a focal point. Um, there's so much. I mean, at the moment, I'm stood bang in the middle of a complete forest floor, completely full of wild garlic and it's just absolutely amazing to the eye and the smell and the senses is just phenomenal and uh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by it all but to get a photograph of it I'm really quite struggling um, so I've, I've, I've finished on this behind you which I've 
I'll show you on a little bit of b-roll I've got this fallen tree or fallen tree branch that's off of one of these anyway that's laying on the ground covered in wild garlic drifting off into the forest floor so I've got the big lens on um, saves me changing my lens I've gone to 50 mil which is as wide as it'll go and I can just about get it all in um, but it really does fuzz out the background and blow the background out um, because of the focal distance I may even try just going all the way up to f16 just to make sure and see if it'll make any difference on the depth of field um, now I've taken a horizontal and I've taken vertical. I think the vertical is the better shot. Um, it just basically shows the whole complete carpet, the whole forest floor completely covered in wild garlic. And I think that's quite nice in itself. Other than that, I really can't. I'm really, I'm really, really struggling. Um, Denise, like I say, Denise has got a really good shot earlier on, and I think I showed you one earlier of a of an arch um, leading up sort of the different colours. But I do think this is. Um, about the best I can do with this um, I don't really know what else to say about it it's just so beautiful on the eye and the smell and everything it's really really nice being here but I'm just struggling with photos so I'm gonna end the video here um, Denise has got a very keen eye on me she's staring at me she says I want a cup of tea <laughs> don't mind uh, we're gonna make our way back to the van we're gonna have a brew we're gonna just check out make sure we don't miss anything on the way past um, but this, the forest is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And I thank Adam for bringing us down. It's been absolutely amazing. And uh, we sort of trampled through some pathways that I would never have ever dreamt of. Um, so it's been really, really good. I knew it, I've definitely experienced a sort of put in my notebook. Um, but yeah, enjoy this last image. Don't forget like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Please give us a thumbs up. It's very important for the old algorithms of the YouTube channel. Um, I know it's boring, keep saying it, repeating it every week, but it's really, really important. The what? The badger tracks? Badger, badger pathways, that's what we've yeah. been on. I mentioned earlier on that we've been following badger tracks and stuff, so. Um, but yeah, no, it's really, really good. It's uh, fantastic. So yeah, thanks to Alan, who's got his back to you over there. And uh, yeah, till next time. Uh, not sure where. I've got a funny feeling we're going to some rocks or something. But uh, yeah, till next time, please give us that thumbs up. Really important. And ciao. Ciao for now. Say bye. 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 Can't see them. They're, 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 they're there somewhere. You know this Osmo. It just decides to do what it wants to do. <laughs> Ciao.